Hello, my name is Christina Shen, and for my capstone project, I wanted to see what were the most common mental health issues in a high school student, and to incorporate it with my project, I wanted to show how they can be expressed in a form of art. To start my process, I wanted to see how my school is involved with mental health. To do this, I joined the Mental Health Matters Club, where we participated in many different events. Um, through these events, I've noticed how it brings awareness to the school about what mental health is, and has also gotten students to think about what helps their own mental health. The events that we do are things like giving a slip of encouragement to a friend or thinking about something that they've good that's either been like helpful to themselves or to others and to write it on a piece of paper and stick it on the wall. All of these things have brought smiles to kids' faces and has also gone to gotten them to think about what they've done that was good. Being involved in the club has also helped me improve in my own communication skills and has also helped me to get, to get more social with people around me that I don't usually have classes with. Um, and after every event, I reflect on what students enjoy participating in, and it also helps me think about what new ideas I can do to get more people involved and to appreciate what they have and to help others do that as well. Ms. Jameson has been the teacher sponsor of the Mental Health Club for the past five years and was also my mentor for the project. I was able to learn alongside her during the club sessions and she has also given me a lot of helpful tips during my capstone project. The next part of my process was to be more personal and learn more about what students at my school experience with their mental health. I want to hear people's stories and give them a chance to share what they've gone through and how they cope with it. To do this, I decided to create a survey that people could fill out at my school as a safe place for them to share what they've gone through. An important part of the survey was that they could fill it out without anyone seeing their name so that they could feel as, pos as, comfor as comfortable as possible while honestly sharing their thoughts and experiences. And in total, I gathered 73, 73 responses and I noticed that people were able to use this space as a place to vent and get their emotions out, which I think was probably a very comforting and freeing feeling for them. In my survey, I put a few different options of different mental health illnesses. And in my trifold, I've also given a short explanation of what they are for those who don't know. And um, from my survey for the people who do suffer with a mental health illness, the most common two were anxiety and depression. So to elaborate more on those two, anxiety is a reaction or a response to high levels of stress and can also be um, a feeling of fear, worrying, or nervousness. And common symptoms of these are things like sweating, increased heart rate, panic attacks, um, or feeling like restless or tense and panicked. So from my survey, I had people share their experiences with anxiety and there were various um, of different personal answers. Um, some people described anxiety as a pressure on their chest, while others have also said that um, anxiety caused them to, over, to constantly overthink in different situations. And because my research is targeting high school students, many responses that I've gotten people um, explain that their experience with anxiety was due to school and um, how school performances tend to trigger many responses anxiety as the pressure from schoolwork and things from their family. So depression affects emotion and negatively um, affects feelings that it can also cause disinterest in things that were once enjoyed. Um, symptoms can include sad and, and depressive moods, loss of energy, common fatigue, or loss of motivation to do daily activities and things like that. Um, responses that I got from my survey are people saying that they feel drained or burnt out and affects their daily mood. Um, some causes of, of depression um, that people have expressed are due to family issues and academic stress. Um, there were other mental health issues that people have also added to what I didn't put down. Um, things like bipolar disorders or people elaborating more on their eating disorders. And a new one for me that I didn't know before was something called oppositional defiant disorder, which is kind of like it affects how they, their attitude to people. 
To get through these mental health issues, the survey also asks students what they what their coping methods that they tend to rely on are. Um, this list of choices is also here to help um, students know what works best for them and to also help them generate ideas um, of what they can do for themselves. Um, popular results like hanging out with friends, talking to people, and doing physical activities show that getting their minds off stressful situations and talking to people to help distract themselves are very beneficial to their mental health. Um, some other popular results like relaxing by themselves um, or internet entertainment were also um, very popular. Um, it seems like talk, having time for themselves to do what interests them without feeling judged or just anyone watching them um, was also an important thing for their own mental health. Um, the most unpopular uh, coping solution was therapy. And although this option seems like it's helping students, I think that because my survey is directed to help to high school students, that maybe talking to an adult or talking to a stranger isn't something that a lot of people are interested in um, or comfortable with. So another reason why this might not be the most popular option could also be because um, lack of ac accessibility due to location or money. Um, even if some students wanted therapy, um, one session could be very pricey and it could just add up. So um, yeah, so other options that people put down that weren't listed were things like music, showering, eating, um, playing instruments, and painting. Speaking of painting, um, the last step to do was to create my product. And um, even though I was learning a lot of new things that I never knew about mental health, I still wanted to gain one more skill through this capstone project. And uh, because I wanted it to somehow kind of relate to mental health, I started being more personal and thinking about my own coping habits. And things that I do to relax other than like browsing on the internet or something is to do is to create art like drawing or something. So I thought that painting was pretty similar, but still something new that I can try out. And so therefore, for my product, I wanted to create an art piece. Um, of my perspective of mental health issues and because the most common mental health issues from my survey were depression and anxiety I tried to incorporate those a little bit into my art piece. To talk more and describe um, some aspects of my painting. I have a girl who is suffering through her mental her own mental health issues and she has a mask of a happy face to kind of represent how um, you can put on a fake persona super easily um, when, ne when needed, but the reality of it differs from that. And I thought this was kind of similar to how students were at school because, um, because even though we are all friends with each other, there's a lot that we don't know about each other's private lives. So those people who look happy could actually have issues on the, on their own that other people don't even know about. Um, the next big point of my painting was the big tornado. Yes, that's a tornado um, on top of kind of coming out of her head with all the um, small details around it. And this is to show um, that even though the girl might be calm on the outside, all the pressures and pressure and thought um, are quickly spinning inside her head like a storm. Um, yeah, so overall, I'm pretty proud of my product. And even though it's not the best painting, it was definitely a learning experience for me and something that I don't regret doing. Overall, I think that I've gained a lot learning from this and I'm definitely glad that I chose this topic because if I didn't, I wouldn't have joined Mental Health Club. And that was just a whole nother experience of meeting new people and learning more about myself and others. So yeah, so thank you for listening.